Hello, welcome back to Armchair Armory, and welcome back to another preview. This weekend, we are playing Leicester at the Emirates Stadium. <sighs> I always get worried about playing Leicester, particularly at the Emirates. I know we beat them 2-0 at the King Power this season. But last week, Jamie Vardy made his return after however many months out with injury. And for some reason, that guy loves scoring goals at the Emirates. So I'm a bit worried in that sense. But in all honesty, I actually think this is quite winnable. Um, I do, I do think that we've we've got a good chance here um, because Leicester haven't in, haven't really been in great form all season. Like the the Brendan Rodgers project seems to seems to have fallen off of the rails a little bit. Their last game was against Leeds last Saturday. It was the early kickoff. They they won one nil. That was Jesse Marsh's first game in charge for Leeds. But yeah, they I mean they've they've had quite an indifferent in their last five, they've lost two, drawn one and one two. So it's kind of been average for them. So I don't necessarily think that like they're it's it's gonna be it's gonna be tough, don't get me wrong. But I don't think that it's like a couple of seasons ago where they were firing at all cylinders and they always had one over on us. People forget that in that season they won the league. We beat them both times. We beat them at uh, I think 5-2 at King Power, and then we and it was that Welbeck last-minute header against them at the Emirates. I don't know. It's one of those things where I think that like they're not they're not as scary as they were a few seasons ago. I say that now, and I can imagine Vardy's going to score a hat trick against us or something. But yeah, I mean, we're in pretty good form at the moment. Four wins and one draw in the last five. And that's what it's all about. We'd, we've just got to keep this momentum going. We've obviously come off the back of the 3-2 uh, the win over Watford last um, Sunday. And uh, yeah, it was a decent performance. I thought attacking-wise, we were very good. Um, the scoreline kind of made out like the game was a lot closer than it was and to be honest like the first goal that we conceded I don't think we could have done, done too much about second goal I think it was just naive well not necessarily naivety maybe laziness from Ben White he just kind of let Sissoko get past him and it was just an easy slot home past Ramsdale but other than that I thought we we played very well in an, in attack, in an attacking sense I think the defence the defence had some shaky moments but I think we the, the attack had done enough to, to kind of mitigate that essentially but going into Leicester I kind of see it very similar to Wolves in a sense I know this season Leicester aren't on the same trajectory as as Arsenal are but I kind of see it very similar to Wolves because they're they're a they're a slightly above average team Leicester with some decent players you know you've got Tielemans, Madison, Vardy all those people Tielemans is someone that we've been linked with before. We've got those all those players in there that can do damage. And on their day, they can rip it out of you, plain and simple. So that's the kind of way I see it. I see it as a kind of like in that bracket of sort of the mid-table good teams, the mid-table decent teams, like your Wolves, your Leicester, Villa, Palace, Brighton, those, those type of teams that on their day can do you sort of thing. But yeah, I think I'm going to go 2-1 Arsenal as a prediction. Um, I thought in terms of starting lineup, up Tommy Asu would have come back in by now. But to be fair, Cedric's doing quite well. Since he's come in, he's done pretty well, to be honest. So it, at least it means for now we don't have to rush Tommy Asu back and just let him get back to match fit to just let his fitness come back naturally. It's going to be an interesting end to the season. You know, we're one point ahead of Man United now who lost their last game to Man City, 4-1. I think I said this to Stefan, who's been on this channel, um, Man United fan, friend of mine, that uh, I think Man United have gotten to the stage now where they've got to start thinking about rebuilding completely, like moving on from like these aging players, even Ronaldo to some extent, they've got to move on and start again, you know, with people like Rashford leaving the line. I mean, I, I, I think I said to him that I think Rashford might want to move on but at the same time I'm kind of like he could be the experienced player he could be the <laughs> Lacazette I guess you know with Alanga and people like that coming through you know they, they just they I think they just need to build on that 
But let's see at the end of the season. I think the way things are going, it probably looks like it's it's going to come down to between us, United and Tottenham. Tottenham have won two in a row so far. So they beat Leeds 4-0 and they beat Everton 5-0. So that's two big wins for them. They've got United next on Saturday in the evening kickoff. So, yeah, it's, I think it's going to go down to the wire. Um, I think us and United are probably the favourites at this moment in time because despite those two big wins from Spurs, they are they have quite, had have had quite in different form so far since Conte's come in. So, I think if it is down to us and United and it goes to like, you know, starts going into mid-April and all that kind of stuff, it will come down to that game on April the 23rd at the Emirates. I think it's April the 23rd or end of April. Um, but it just depends on results between now and then. I'm hoping we get to a stage where that game... I mean, as much as I love to, to get up from... I always want to beat United, but I'd love to get to that to that stage and be like, OK, we don't care if we <laughs> drop points here because, I don't know, we're six points clear or something like that. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to go back and forth all the time. I mean, even this weekend with United playing Spurs, I can't predict who's going to win that. I think that it's at Old Trafford, but that doesn't mean anything nowadays. So, yeah, I think it's just going to go down to the wire. I don't think it's as open and shut. But at the end of the day, we've just got to con concentrate on what we're doing. That's all we can do, just concentrate on what we're doing. Um, it starts with Leicester, try and get something from Liverpool on, on the following Wednesday. And then we've got... Uh, I should know this off by heart by now. Yeah. So after Liverpool, we've got Villa at Villa Park, which is which is going to be similar to Leicester in a way. And we've still got those game in, games in hand coming up against Spurs and Chelsea, which are going to be difficult. But if we can get something out of them, to, you know, top four is definitely on. Like I keep saying, though, I will caveat that by saying I don't personally think we're going to get top four. I think if things continue the way they're going, I just get a feeling that when it comes to playing Liverpool, Chelsea and Spurs, we're going to drop points there. And I have a feeling that we'll probably drop points against a team like Newcastle or Brighton or something like that, or maybe West Ham. And we'll probably just miss out. I think it will be close, but I think we'll just miss out, unfortunately. Because I just don't think we're quite there yet. I don't think we're quite at a stage where, like, you know, what if we, if we bring in a top-class striker in the summer, then maybe I'd be a bit more confident. But... I just don't quite think we're there yet. Maybe I'm hope I hope I'm wrong, but who knows? So yeah, as I said, prediction two one Arsenal. Um, I, I I think we can do it. It's just whether I'm always worried that over the horizon with Arsenal, there's always a bad performance coming. I just hope this isn't it because we need to really re at this point now we really need to keep this momentum going. You saw after we got that final goal against Wolves how much it means to keep to, to get that win instead of walking away with a draw. So we need to do that again. We need to come with the same fight, the same hunger. And we've got 13 games to go. 13 games to go, 13 cup finals to try and get in the top four. And to be honest, if we don't and we finish fifth, I'd be happy with that, to be honest, because after the last two seasons, I know half of that season was Emery, the fir uh, Arteta's first half season. It's been it's been difficult being an Arsenal fan, and yes, fair enough, we're going to be back in the Europa League, and it's not ideal, but it's progress. We've we would have jumped three places this season, and I know there's going to be people out there that are going to say stupid ish like. Of course, you managed to get higher than eighth. You didn't have European football. It's, can't win. If that happens, you can't win at the end of the day like nothing is going to be good enough but to be fair some people are just going to be like that anyway i'll be back again after the game on sunday uh giving my thoughts so enjoy the rest of this simulation didn't go too well for me i won't say the score because if you decide to watch till the end i don't want to spoil it watching me playing fifa bad anyway until i speak to you again armchair armory wise take care and stay safe
Second half underway then. Leicester have the lead, but it's a long way from being settled. And beating the defender. Big chance! And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Saka. Now Lacazette. Good tackle. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. And options in the centre. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. And offside by a very small margin. Gabriel Martinelli. It's with Erdegaard. Thomas Saka now Lacazette oh moving it nicely and couldn't keep himself onside Ricardo Pereira. Lukman. High quality defending. And the forward run by Lacazette with the ball at his feet. He has options around him. Oh, he's through here. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Saka. Now showing excellent vision. And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, they're so unlucky not to be level now. It was a great effort. You just wonder if they're going to regret that. And there to intervene. Chance to finish. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. Thomas. Great pressure to win the ball back. And he's got the beating of his opponent. You've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Lookman. And hunting for his second goal tonight, however. Well, you're absolutely right. He's been on great form today. That was another good effort.
Well, time for the change now. Number 37, Adamola Nukman, to be replaced by number 17, Ayoyes Perez. It's a short one. Ndidi, really vital interception here. Tielemans, useful looking position, you've got to say. But they dealt with the threat first. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Martin Erdegaard. And Leicester with the ball again. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Iannaccio. Happy to take on the shot. Simple catch, really. And he takes on the shot. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Good pressure high up the pitch. Madison. Keeper getting the touch. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, that was a good save, and it's kept them in it. But they have to do more going forward. It's a good Leicester move in the making. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Time for a change, then. So, 2-0 now. Sliding in, winning the ball, and once more, they've kept it. Marte's threaded pass. And there it is, a chance. And up for grabs off the keeper. Tremendous defending to Stonewall him. Well, nicely cut out. Ian Atcher. Has a go! Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. So the final whistle now, and disappointment for Arsenal, you've got to say. A defeat for them, your assessment. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, he scored a good goal, he hit the woodwork and was a constant threat. So overall, he should be really pleased with his display today.